What's up, Prairie Kill Kids? Today we're going to be looking at 3 2. Okay. Uh, we're going to try to get this done in one section. Try, try to keep as fast as possible. We're going to talk about exponential and logistic modeling. Okay. Constant percent rate. What that means is when you take out a loan, when you have interest incurring, it's going to be a constant rate. It's not going to change. If it does change, it's something called uh, variable interest. And that's why I got a lot of people in trouble with the housing market. I usually say avoid that. There's also balloon interest that starts low and goes high. I'll try and stay constant, guys. Um, ready? Mm, nothing's noteworthy. Uh, the reason why I want to show you this is you have your initial zero. Initial one year is whatever you started with plus whatever you had times your rate. Then you add one plus and you keep adding to the years, and that's where you get your P, your initial times so one plus R to the T. So the only thing that's noteworthy here, I guess I lied, is this guy right here. This is constant percentage rate. Look here, this also works for exponential population models because usually populations change at a constant rate, but they don't always. I'm not always the biggest fan of using these models for population, but they work. So, I don't know, just again, keep in mind, if you want to label what you wrote down before, this is your exponential population model. Okay. See, it's used. This is noteworthy. Okay. You have population growing at 7, 6, 8, 6. Well, that's your initial, right? Times your rate to the T. Now we got to determine is it growth or decay? And then find the constant percent rate of growth or decay. Well, remember, if this is greater than one if this is greater than one it's growth if it's less than one it's decay so this is indeed growth <laughs> now what's my R it's my constant percent rate well remember this that's your initial times 1 plus r to the t. Well, in this one, where are we add to that 1? Well, this one's 1 plus 0 0.021. So that's our constant percent rate is, well, 2.1% or 0 0.021. That's not a percent. Here's your trivia question, hey guys. Who was my favorite tiger when I was 5 years old? Good luck. Let's try another one. We're going to look at interest. So let's find the function. If our initial value is 10, increasing at 5% a year is noteworthy, guys. Okay. So our initial is 10. We put in our 1 plus, we're increasing at 5%, so that's 0 0.05 to the t. So really it's 10 times 1.05 to the t. That's all there is to it, guys. That's all there is to it. No trickery. No tomfoolery. Let's try another one. Bacteria, one of my favorites. So we have 200 bacteria in a dish. I count them all myself. Those little butters, those germs. 200 doubles every hour. Predict when the number will be 350,000. So 200 is my initial, right? Now, I double every hour. 
So what do I times it by every hour, guys? Think about this. That's right, you're going to times it by 2. I'm going to put this to the T. I'm just going to denote T is in hours. Okay? Now, to solve this, We don't have the tools yet to solve this, so we're going to graph it. Okay, just ask me to do this tomorrow in class, and I'll do it. Capiche? Capiche. And last one. Pretty important, half-life radioactive decay. Half-life, if you don't know what it is, noteworthy. Half-life is the amount of time... It takes for half of, well, the molecule change, but we're going to say radioactivity go away. We're going to simplify it to go away or decay. Okay? Suppose pre-calcium, I want to be pre-calcium, got calcium, yeah, it works. Half-life 35 days, 5 grams initially, find the time when there's 2 grams left. Okay. Initial value is right here. Now we thought, think about this, half-life, so what do we put in here? Well, half. Now up here we aren't just going to put T, guys. Because what would our TV in days, years? I don't know. If your half life is 35 days, you take the length of it and you divide T by it. That's because every 35 days, then you get one whole and then you get to take it to the half. Okay? And this is where T is in days. Okay? And then we're going to set this equal to two because we're looking for when is two grams left. Now if you're really savvy you can kind of guesstimate that's going to be 70 plus half of 30 is 15. It's going to be 87.5 days. But I'm going to show you in a calculator how that's done too. Just ask me to do it. We'll call it a day. Enjoy!